quick revision video on the Arrhenius equation. So we'll start with some essentials. We've got the equation there that's from the data sheet, so you don't need to remember that. So it's an exponential relationship between the rate constant k and the temperature t. So a is the pre-exponential or frequency factor, and that takes into account the frequency of collisions that have got the correct orientation of positioning. The exponential factor is a bit highlighted now, and that's linked to the activation energy, the gas constant, and the temperature. And that gives us a measure of the proportion of molecules that have got enough energy to react. So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time on the units, because that will come in handy when we do the calculations. So there's all the units. EA, activation energy, is in joules per mole, not kilojoules per mole, which is probably the units we're more familiar with. The gas constant R has joules per kelvin per mole, so you can see there's joules in the gas constant, that's why we have the activation energy in joules as well. And obviously the temperature needs to be in kelvin because we've got kelvin in the gas constant units. So the units of A are going to be the same as the units of K, the rate constant, and that's because the units of the EA over RT all cancel out. So moving on now to the logarithmic form of the equation, which you can see is on the screen as well. That's also on the data sheet, so you don't need to remember this one. This is based on the equation for a straight line. So you can see I've sort of matched up the y, the m, the x and the c. So you can see hopefully that if we plot lin k, natural log of k, as the y-axis, against 1 over t as the x-axis, we're going to get a straight line graph, but it's going to have a negative gradient, so it's going to be a downward straight line. So the gradient's going to be equivalent to minus Ea over R, and the y-intercept is the lin, or the natural log, of A. So if we move on to a typical exam question now, in the previous part of the question you might have been asked to complete a table or fill in some blanks where you've had to calculate 1 over t, or the natural log of k. And you would plot your points and end up with a straight line graph like this one here. And then the exam question could ask you to use the graph to calculate the activation energy for the reaction in kilojoules per mole. So there's the reminder of the logarithmic form of the equation with the y equals mx plus c next to it. And a reminder that the gradient is minus Ea over R. So the first thing you do is construct your triangle and work out your dy and your dx and calculate the gradient. So that comes out at minus 13500. So that equals minus Ea over R. So we can lose the minus signs now because they're on both sides. And rearranging that, Ea activation energy comes out at 112,239 joules per mole. Remember what I said about the units before, it's in joules per mole in the Arrhenius equation. And the three significant figures, that would be 112 kilojoules per mole. Obviously, the other thing you could be asked to do would be to calculate A, the pre-exponential factor, so using the same graph. So there's a reminder of the y equals mx plus c against the equation, and the y-intercept is the natural log or lin of A. These axes were set by the exam question, so you can see they've started it at 3 times 10 to the minus 3, so we can't get a y-intercept from this. So when that's the case, we need to pick any point on the line and substitute in the lin k value, so that's going to be the y value, the 1 over t, so that's going to be the x value, and the gradient that we've already calculated, and then just solve for lin a. So we'll do that now. Pick that point there, there's the lin k and the 1 over t values. So reminder, the gradient from the previous slide was minus 13,500, and substituting all of that in, we get that. And then if we work out the stuff in the bracket, and rearrange, we get lin of A equals minus 6.6 .6 plus 41.85. That comes out at a lin A of 35.25. So A is E to the 35.25, which comes out to three significant figures at 2.04 times 10 to the 15. And the units would be the same as the rate constant, whatever they are for this reaction.